to get it out of the way. So it's a choke to clear out. We'll take the diaphragm. I'm insulating around my outlets. I went through with some low density spray foam and I poked it in between the outlet box and my wall and I squeezed it in here. Since it's low density, it didn't expand very much, so it didn't get all over the place. It was easy to wipe up. I can still scrape it off with my fingers. I will be covering it with a gasket cover. So I got this from Home Depot. Here it is. So what I'll end up doing is I'll end up breaking out the top piece and the bottom piece for the outlet cover here. And then I'll have to cut this so that it fits inside the outlet cover. I have that. Place it behind my cover so I can see about how much I need to trim. So now that I have this, it's a little tight. The pressure of it will seal it into place. So next I'm going to place this gasket around here. These work much better with the square outlet. So what I'm going to do is take off some pieces of this that I just cut off. And I'll need eight pieces, four of them to go around. As you can see right here in these corners, there's empty spaces. So I'm going to poke these in here. Around with my scissors and I'm trimming these pieces off. And last we'll put this on here and you'll have to wiggle it around a little bit. And it's done. Insulating all my outlets. First thing that I did is I took some low density spray foam and I sprayed in between the outlet box and the wall. You can see it's filled in here. This is a low density foam. It fills in the crack nice. Um, it's not overly aggressive. It doesn't get everywhere. It's not all over the floor. Next thing I did is I went to Home Depot and bought some outlet covers. For this one, since it's a light switch, I'm going to tear out this center tab here. So I have peeled that out. I'm not sure if my screw is actually going to fit in here. You can see this piece has popped out. So I will end up filling that piece as well. If you do have any pieces you need to fill, take a strip off of the cutting and then take my scissors and I'll cut that. And now that's filled. Next thing I do is I'm going to line this up so that the hole and the foam are lined up behind each other so I can see how much I need to cut off. Next I'm going to cut around and it's a little tight which is good. We want it to be a little tight so as this goes back there that the pressure will keep that there and we won't have any air leaking through. So now that we have that set up we will take the gasket off from the back. Pop that into place. Make sure that it's covering up the whole outlet. If you're missing a piece, you're going to have to slide your outlet one way or the other by loosening these two screws. So if you loosen these screws, you can slide the, the switch or outlet side to side. After I see that there's no openings, I'll take my cover and get this set into place. You're going to have to rock it around a little bit to get that foam underneath there. Now be careful not to tighten them too tight with the foam under there and tightening it. These covers will have a tendency to crack and it is done.